Hello. This will be the last practice this weekend with Melissa Stahl here because she's going home soon. And I uh, took a nap. Um, so I don't know if I, I notice um, previous days when I make a bunch of practice videos all in one day, I kind of build a momentum of how well I can play, and I'm guessing the nap um, took away the momentum. But it doesn't mean not to practice. Just go to my chart and E minor. about having taken a nap. Um, first of all, I didn't have to take an extra piece of anti-anxiety medication, which I was craving at the time. Um, the nap took care of that. And second of all, um, gave my fingers a chance to rest a bit. <laughs> but despite that, they're not, it's not like I had eight hours sleep. That's when I really feel my fingers are healthy these days. Hopefully in the future I will have played for so long that I never feel pain in my fingers because they're all dead. <laughs> not, not literally dead. I, you know, I think it's good. I don't think the calluses on your fingers are really hurting you in any way. Um, I don't think they're bad for you. was D7. D7 seems so natural for me to play that um, it, it doesn't like, I don't know if this makes any sense, but it, it doesn't feel like part of the 7 family because it's just, it fits in perfectly in my mind with, that was D major just fits in perfectly with D major and D minor. And then new to the chart today is D major 7, which is a little bit awkward, but I suppose it's just like A major. I forgot to do strums for these guys. So D7 D major and D minor I think maybe I'm still half asleep or something, but I think if I continue to play, I will warm up. So, moving on to the C's, let's go straight to C7, which is somewhat difficult. touching the string there, so... So that's C7, sounds a little odd. Let's do C major 7 next. 
just completely out of order. And finally, do C major, which is what I probably should have started with if I wanted to, I don't know, just seems better to start with this. C minor, which I was complaining before, but I kind of stopped complaining that it was too far down the neck. Does, yeah, it has two mutes. There's another way to do C minor that uh, basically my fingers are too stupid to be able to do. <laughs> you are so cute. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so let's do B7 because it is similar to C7. Um, it's very similar, in fact. But I find it a bit more difficult. So we have to can't help but touch that bass string. Can't touch this. <laughs> the the bass. I think I. Do you remember if I did B correctly the last time I... I do not remember. I think I did B correctly once. And I was like, whoa. So anyways. Awesome. Playing B major, you're kind of forced to give the audience the middle finger. Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. However I'm doing it, um, that first string is always yeah it's the first string that I always have trouble with so that was my attempt at B major and we're just gonna move on because uh, I don't know I don't feel it's beneficial to hammer away at something that I can't do after a certain amount of attempt. I don't know. Um, maybe that is the wrong way to learn, but I don't care. This is definitely eating away at my thumbnail. But yeah, we were worried that I had bruised one of my strumming fingers. But anyways, that was F7. Um, let's do G7. kind of got cocky about the fact that I can do that. <laughs> it, fe it feels, it, it appears when you chart, when you look at the chart of it, it looks like something that would be hard to do, but for me it's not at least. So this is G major 7. even, I don't know, we still have some more to go and uh, just compared to my old practice routine it feels like we've been working on this for a while even though it's only been about 10 minutes. 10 minutes isn't that long. Mm -hmm. 
Seem to be saving G major for last. And I'm always so proud of G major because of how hard it made me work. That is G minor. Not really something I think I will ever be using as a strum, but nonetheless. Uh, Oh, I'm gonna miss you. I love you. I love you. So, that was not perfect, but the thing about this is I need to have my elbow out. Is what we discovered unlocked the door to being able to play this. And those were both G major, just one of them has one less uh, finger being pressed. I forgot what it's called when you do that. And now my other chart. Uh, don't really need to refer to it for this part, but it's part of the chart anyways. So that's basically a third of the screen. <laughs> so uh, I sound disgusting. Uh, remember when that guy told me I ate disgusting? Yes. <laughs> you think he's funny? And I wouldn't stop laughing if he was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I'm doing this upside down. Okay. So counterintuitive. I love you. I love you. I love you. So if we just press down on the frets. you but I have confidence it's good for me because it came from a smart person and now Here, 
And I have to do the transition really quickly. And I cross my leg. down hard. more to that but I'm just doing the first two for now until I get the first two down better then I can move on to number three. It's a very slow learning process. Uh, that's p part of a song I'm trying to learn and I had written down, I, I had copied from watching someone play on YouTube. I copied where their fingers were and uh, I don't know if you can see here. So basic, basically I thought one of the fingers, the middle finger pressed down, but basically the fi middle finger wasn't even pressing down and I wasn't aware of that and my friend corrected my mistake and he uh, wrote down the correct notation and uh, yeah, so now I have the correct notation for the first four chords of a, a song I'm trying to learn and it's still very very difficult. I was struggling with it when the finger was supposed to be pressed down and I'm still str struggling with it uh, either way. Either way it's still difficult but uh, yeah I'll learn it eventually. <laughs> just one hamburger and then I had two cups of coffee and I feel something in the center of my chest not where the heart is where the xiphoid process is I don't know if the viewers at home know what the xiphoid process it's spelled with the necks look it up <coughs> so I feel pain uh, in the flesh area behind my xiphoid process and I don't know I guess that would probably be part of my stomach, but anyways, uh, I don't know why I just went on that tangent. to do a quick transition to, into E minor because uh, G major especially out of the original chords I learned is one of the more complicated ones that I have committed to memory or like I'm able to do it fairly easily so I was trying to go from G major uh, with the four fingers uh, to E minor with, which is two fingers and then it's like up a bit on the fretboard I thought maybe I could transition really quickly and I could not. I confused myself. <laughs> Just happened to have some water left over. That's probably a good idea to have on hand for, for future practices. I 
flush the toilet. Oh, no. And now everybody on the internet knows that you flushed the toilet. Oh no! <laughs> G major 7 So G major 7 kind of goes into E minor which is cool um, I guess that's what I'm doing with this part of the practice, just playing things out of order. You can play whatever order you want. What? You can play it in any order you want. I know, but I, I'm, I'm used to, like, I've gone through the, the motions of practicing each chord individually so many times that I've found a natural, like, I, I routinely go through it a certain way especially in the beginning. Um, I don't think it, that's necessary, that's just what I do. Um, and uh, then the second half of the practice I try to do it out of order. And it's almost difficult not to do it in order. Okay. Either, if that makes any sense. If anyone has a suggestion, they want to comment or talk to me online, tell me what order to put these existing notes in. It's F7. That is F7, isn't it? That sounds more like it. Okay. And then I have to be strict with myself and include the more difficult ones in my uh, practice. Keep hitting the sixth string, which is probably bad, bad habit, or whatever. And I know I should mute it with my thumb, but I don't. Um, so let's just do a few more of these, and then I'll stop. if you could tell, but I was strumming both up and down, but I think I was mostly hitting that one main string. Uh, so. And if, if I'm ever confused why I seem to always get a callus on the side of my ring finger here, it probably mostly has to do with D minor, playing D minor. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, da -da. as I tried to get the fingering right, but it seems that D major goes into A major 7 a little bit. Let's try D major into A major. 
if I can do it fast enough. I'm not sure that's even a solid A major, but it sounded okay. <sighs> so, goodbye.